Hi, welcome to Julius Bar. Today we are going to talk about whiskey sour. So, whiskey sour. To me, a whiskey sour has always been lemon, sugar, and some kind of whiskey shaken up and served up straight. But after a viewer asked the question, what do you think about whiskey sours? I took a deep dive in the topic and I found out there are a lot of variations, too many variations on the topic. But I'm going to try to recap everything in a few simple points. So a sour is any cocktail that's made with an alcohol base, lemon and sugar. In this case, our alcohol is going to be whiskey. And so we are just going to examine the whiskey sour. All the other sour are going to be in some other video I'm going to do in the future. On top of that, your other choices when building a whiskey sour are going to be to serve it either straight up or on ice. If using beaters, which beater to use? And then if you're going to use egg whites to give a creamy top, or if you want to use a drop of uh, red wine to give it a more fancy appearance and uh, a more fruity flavor. So as we have all these options, including of course, which whiskey to use, this topic could take years to examine. Today, I'm just going to propose you three options, which runs a bit of the gamut of what you can do with uh, the whiskey sour, but it's not at all uh, an exhaustive video of all the options we would have. So let's clean up here and start with our first cocktail. So for our first sour, I'm going to follow a recipe found on Steve Bartender YouTube channel. Steve Bartender, of course, is that most handsome guy with a beautiful smile that uh, you might follow if you like a buff Australian better than a, a dorky Italian that lives in Japan. Actually, it's the channel I prefer beside, of course, mine. So let's start with the egg white. Oh my God, what the f am I doing? So that was my most proud moment, but I think we are safe. We have the white in our shaker and the red somewhere else. Then 30 milliliters of lemon. So I'm gonna squeeze a whole lemon. Fifty milliliters of orange juice. I'm gonna squeeze half and then I'm gonna measure because while lemons, I'm pretty sure my lemons are 15 milliliters each half. I'm not quite sure about this orange. So 15 milliliters of orange, 15 milliliters of rich simple syrup, which will be sweeter. I'm just gonna use normal simple syrup because I usually anyway like all my cocktails less sweet than usual. And then 60 milliliters of rye. The recipe calls for 50% ABV rye. I'm gonna use this Voodoo Reserve which has 45 because I feel like it. I don't feel like using the Rittenhouse, which is my normal go-to rye whiskey, which is 50% ABV for this recipe. Now I'm gonna dry shake. Dry shaking is something you do when you have some egg white for a full discussion of a dry shake versus reverse dry shake. Check out my Pisco Sour video. Now we add ice and we give one more shake. And double strain, of course, as we always do with a cocktail that contains egg whites. While we wait for the foam to set, we prepare the decoration, which is a orange slice and a maraschino cherry. And there you go, our first whiskey sour with egg whites, 
rye whiskey, a bit of orange juice to make a difference, and served on the rocks. Cheers. Nice, cute form. Mmm. Mmm. Really nice. I like the orange touch. He also changes a bit the color. It's nice, fruity. The egg white top is perfect. Rye whiskey don't sound too offensive in this recipe. Actually, it just matches it to a tea. The orange decoration is also a good uh, touch because as you're near the glass to your mouth, you can feel more of the orange zest and peel and flavor. It's a wonderful drink. Mm. Just the problem. Mm. Mm. Okay, so let's go on to our second whiskey sour. For the second whiskey sour, we're gonna do a New York sour cocktail, which is based on bourbon, like a real classic, and yes, a drip of red wine on top. Now, until last week, I thought this was absolute heresy. Why you wanna put a drip of red wine on top of your perfectly fine whiskey sour? But, as you the follow me on Instagram might have found out, let, let's see what's gonna happen. So even this one, I'm gonna prepare it on ice. So for this second cocktail, I'm gonna use the New York Sour recipe I found on the fourth guide. And we start with one dash of Angostura. Then 30 milliliters of lemon juice. So one full lemon, 50 milliliters of simple syrup. Again, the recipe says double strength simple syrup, but I'm gonna use normal because I don't like it too sweet. And then 60 milliliters of bourbon whiskey. I made this recipe before with a buffalo trace and it was excellent. Just for a change, I'm gonna use this uh, old granddad. which is my go-to bourbon for cocktails. I really like its spice and its price point. So let's give this a shake. Single strain. And then we finish this with the drip of claret wine. Claret wine is a terminology I never heard before and I think it designates some kind of uh, wine from France which from what I read includes a wine made with Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, I guess red wine which are kind of mellow. Oh that wasn't good. So let's drip about 15 milliliters. Give a nice appearance. If you don't splash it all around. And then I'm gonna decorate with uh, some lemon peel. So appearance wise, this one is uh, really striking. Let's... Uh, Give it a sip. New York sour cocktail. Cheers. Yeah, and the smell is smell like uh, wine, but combined with the lemon and the spiciness of the bourbon, it's a completely different experience than normal wine. Mm, yeah, then what you taste is really fruity and sweet. It's so fruity, it's lovely. I love this New York sour cocktail. I know, I really thought it was gonna be the worst thing ever, as well, putting wine on top of your uh, whiskey sour. I think this is incredibly fruity and nice. 
I wonder if uh, this particular type of wine works really well or you can use other wines. I would be curious to try it with uh, a Lago di Caldaro from Italy, like a red wine, but that's really easy to drink and light and pleasant. That's something I would have to try out. If I ever get, uh, again, the chance to get my hands on a Lago di Caldaro or some other like light, fruity red wines. But this is uh, excellent. So now for one uh, bit of an experiment, I'm gonna try to make a whiskey sour like I would normally do if I'm home alone and I don't have any care in the world. So I normally like my whiskey sour straight up and we half a lemon, not one full lemon. And I also tend to like a bit of pitiness in the whiskey. I did it many times with some uh, cheaper Japanese blend, which had a bit of pit. So what I'm gonna try today, I'm gonna make a whiskey sour with a bit less lemon and a combination of two whiskeys a 100% Japanese rice whiskey and a pitted whiskey from Isla. Let's start with the juice of half a lemon, which is also what Jerry Thomas, the godfather of bartenders, original recipe called for. Then as sugar, I'm gonna use a dash of agave syrup. And as whiskey, I'm gonna use this uh, 45 milliliters of this Japanese whiskey, 100% made from rice. The name, uh, I forgot, I'm gonna write down below. It's a really interesting whiskey, but which is pretty much only one note, one candied sweet note, and that makes it a bit boring by itself, but if you, add a bit of pitted whiskey like this Kiloman. I don't know if they're still the youngest distillery on Isla, which means maybe they are 25, 30 years old. They make some great products. This Makir Bay is their uh, most accessible product. It's a great pitted whiskey. Just that lately I have such more complex stuff in my uh, whiskey bar where I tend to use this for cocktails. And it's great for cocktails because it has just a great punch of pit without any fuss. So I'm gonna do 15 milliliters of this pitted whiskey. By the way, this come at 46%, while the Japanese uh, rice whiskey come at 43%. And then I'm just gonna shake it. And there you go, another variation on the classic whiskey sour with uh, 15 milliliters of lemon, 45 of rice whiskey, and 15 of pitted Hyla whiskey. Once uh, cooled down with uh, shaking, the pit doesn't jump at you as strong as it would in a normal neat pour. Mm. Mm, not bad. The pit definitely make it a more serious affair. Now, should we really compare these three drinks? I mean, probably everyone is a winner in its own category, but let's start again from the creamy one made with orange juice and uh, wood for reserve, rye whiskey. Mm. Light and creamy. That one with a New York sour with a red wine sprinkle on top. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. Mm. So fruity, so nice. Man, I love that drink. And then the one with a pitted whiskey.
this is my most serious but the rice whiskey really gives him some uh, sweetness some candy sweetness at the base that prevent it from being too strong so overall a uh, win 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 no way to go wrong with these uh, drinks which one is my favorite i don't know the most surprising is definitely this one to this one goes the price of uh, it's great i don't know i i'm i'm without words usually i'm trying to be really mean to cocktails but in this case it's really hard go for what you feel like all great not a real smart comment but i have nothing else to say okay let's say this more serious more fun. No, this is fun too. I don't know. <laughs> just be creative with your sour. It's just like a base template for anything you want. While researching for this video, I came out with uh, another cocktail, which I called Jane Sour V Wade. You can see the video right there, which is done with uh, rye whiskey and uh, Calvados mix and match put some funk in it put some smoke in it put mezcal put uh, whatever whatever you like experiment love the word sour concept so i hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe type your out heart in the comments do whatever you want shake yourself a drink and i will see you next time cheers You gotta be shitting me.